Hey guys, um, I tested some paints about a week or two ago in the video I just posted. Um, this time I figured, I'm holding the camera for this, sorry about that. I figured we uh, test a few more. As, as you know, uh, I've been getting paints sent to me and uh, trying to organize them. I got another rack coming that's going to curve over here so I can put in these MRP paints. These are from Slovakia. They're great. So I'm going to do a test to show you guys uh, what I mean on this. So I figured, you know what? I got all these new paints. I got this new Humbrol acrylic lineup. Finishers. Uh, lacquers. This just came in. Moto. I think they're Taiwanese. It's supposed to be Gaia knockoffs. Gaia paints. Obviously, they're in the same bottle, practically. These are the bottles that they sent me. Uh, I got a few colors. So we're going to try those. We're going to try... Uh, a metal ammo by MIG acrylic and I'm going to test for you guys this uh, MRP Mr. Paint I guess it's called this is copper I'm trying to come up with different colors so you can see the results on each one we're going to spray it on some spoons I just primed last night so those are ready to go and um, we'll be using this uh, Procon uh, Mr. Hobby airbrush and uh, after that we're going to test these turbo dork paints which are color shifting and pearlescent paints they, uh, they come highly recommended. So I've never tried them. We're going to give them a shot. But for this test, we're going to start with these and work our way through so you guys can see. It's a good mixture. It's a hybrid lacquers. It's a true lacquer. Um, a true acrylic. This is, um, I believe this is also a true acrylic, but this is purely water-based. And um, this uh, acrylic lacquer. Uh, so these are all quite different. So uh, on with the test. And um, we'll see the results at the end. All right, guys, we're going to stop the test. We're going to go with Humbrol Acrylic. Uh, this is a pure water base. Um, this is Matte Plum 5059. Uh, it doesn't say what the color is on here, so you got to know uh, what your colors are. But the chip on the top shows you that it's matte and uh, gives you the color number. It's Matte Plum. Good stuff. Um, I tested a couple already, and I sprayed the spoons with uh, Mr. Surfacer White 1000 or 1500, and we thinned it a little bit with a uh, universal acrylic thinner, and let's see what we get. Always test. There, it looks good. Gotta go slow with acrylics particularly these pure acrylics. What I found was, given it this base coat like this, this speckled coat, is a great start. Now what you want to do is, because it's a dual action, just blow air and dry it off. It dries pretty quick. Now that's pretty much dry. So we're going to go in with the second coat. Third or fourth coat, I would uh, lay it on heavier. Again, this stuff looks rough going on, but boy, it dries really nice. You know, one test I did with the orange. Yep. All right. Someone's at my door. Here we go. We're going to dry this off. Now it's pretty dry. And we're going to try and go on with a, 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 a wet coat. And you can see it. And this is a true matte, man. This stuff is matte. We're not getting a shine out of this. Look at that. And this stuff, so far, my testing, has brushed, airbrushed quite well. It matches the color, and it's particularly the matte. I gotta try a gloss soon, but check that out. Now, at the end, we'll show you it's gonna be pretty dull. It's gonna matte right out. But that's it for now. All right, that's the Humbrol. 
onto the next paint. All right, guys, next up, uh, I guess it's the Gaia clone. Uh, this is Modo. Can you see it? Modo. Pure purple. M17. Um, I sent just, I got just a few of these. Uh, the basics here, the red, the blue, yellow, a green, this purple. I think there's an aluminum and a steel. But uh, these are pure lacquers. Just like Gaia, just like Mr. Color. So I thinned it with Mr. Color leveling thinner. And uh, back to the spoons. Let's see what it looks like. Check. Let's go. A lot of pigments. This goes on really well. Put on heavy, see how it comes out. All right. That spray's good. That spray's good. All right. Moto. On to the next. All right, guys. Uh, next up is finishers. Professional use creative material. Uh, just finishers. I think this is also a Korean or Taiwanese. Um, You'll see it a lot in a lot of the uh, Gundam guys building videos. They'll hold it up because uh, it's pretty uh, easy to get in the Asian area. But it's a lacquer base. It's a solvent base. And um, and I like this color a lot. It's a unique color. Salmon pink. I think it's also available in the Acrylius and my Mr. Color lineup. Here's my prime spoon. And uh, we're ready to go. I've never, ever painted this stuff before. But I have worked with lacquers, obviously. So maybe it'll act the same. Let's see. Check the paint flow. Air it dry like I've been doing. Almost looks like the other one, but not quite. I'm looking at it from my hair, and it's really different the other paint, the humble.
smells not good. It almost looks like the spoon is molded in this color. Wow. Very good. All right. Match is good. On to the next color. All right, next up, we have an acrylic uh, ammo by MIG. This is bluish titanium, 193. Uh, great looking color, hopefully, anyway. I'm gonna put it again on the same spoon, same primer. All right, switch brush, switch the airbrushes. Don't know why I did, but I did. All right. Let's see what we got. These have to go on really slow. The AK, the MIGs. All right, now we'll just try it off. You sort of see the color coming in now and it, it looks good. Try to release the needle a little bit here. Oh yeah, this is a great looking color. So if you take your time with these, they won't run, you won't get your spots, you won't get your drying. I'm not spraying it right now, I'm just drying it off. It's a technique that uh, I was taught that seems to be working for me. There you go. Terrific. That's a good color. All right. That stuff here brush is good. All right. On to the next and final color. All right, guys. Last color for the test and uh, brand uh, MRP Mr. Paint. It's known as. This is copper. This is a uh, lacquer based paint out of Slovakia and uh, they're quite good. The pre thinned, I put a retarder in it so it's uh, in a leveler so it'll dry nice and even, but uh, you can just shoot it right out of the bottle. Let's try this copper. Check it out. Looking orange at first, huh? Hit it with some dry air. That looks great. Well, that paints well. Whoa. All right. We'll let these dry and we'll check out the results. See you in a few minutes. All right, guys. Uh, here's the results. Um, I don't have anything to complain about any of these paints. Uh, you might have a preference, obviously acrylic or lacquer, but um, this was matte plum. It's uh, it's matte. You know, it's matte, but it 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 just leveled itself beautifully. 
it is matte. If you want a really matte, uh, dull look, these acrylic mattes are uh, great. I gotta try a gloss. I haven't tried a gloss one yet, but these went on great. Uh, they're thick. You thin them a bit, and uh, this little bottle is 12, 12 milliliters. It'll go a long way. My Mr. Colors, I think, are 10. I'm not sure. So there's a lot of paint in this little bucket, but at $1.99, I think these are retail. At Sprue Brothers, you really can't go wrong. Um, the full lineup isn't out yet. It's a brand new lineup, but uh, there's plenty of colors to choose from now. Anyway, that came out fantastic. Uh, traditional lacquer of the whole group. This is the most traditional lacquer. This is like your Gaia Notes um, and your Mr. Colors. This is Modo, M-O-D-O. And uh, it's M17. This is their purple, like I said. Let me show you some of the other colors. And they sent me uh, some steel, and they sent me, uh, you know, but these are their pure, pure basics. These are their primaries. And they look, you know, they look, they're bright. A lot of pigments in them. So I tried the purple because I haven't tested a purple yet. And uh, the results are great. I use leveling thinner. Uh, it's an exact match to the bottle. Uh, this is about as close as a bottle match I've ever seen. Um, but they went on great. They dried quick. You know, it's shiny. Uh, it was good stuff. Yeah, I, again, no complaint. I do like lacquers. So I might be biased, but that turned out to be great. Uh, another shocker for me is uh, these MIGs, uh, uh, Ammo by MIG. I heard good things, and I heard bad things. So you don't know until you try them. This has got the, the ball bearing in them. This is the metal lineup. Um, I have the full lineup of uh, opaques and metallics. But I wanted to try a metallic-based uh, acrylic. And, and, and uh, you know what? It, it's fantastic. It matches perfect. It went on terrific. It didn't run Again, you take your time. You got to do a dull coat first, blast it with the air, dry it. A second coat, blast it, and then you put the heavy coat on. You know. So that is uh, this is a winner for me. This 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 was great. Uh, it's a great color for a Gundam, so I, I am going to look for an excuse to use this. But um, again, no complaints on any of these. I'm impressed with all of them. To tell you the truth, this is the finishers. This is out of Asia. Uh, or Taiwan or Korean, I'm not sure. I, you know, I can't, I, it's printed. Maybe you guys know what language I'm looking at here. But uh, this is salmon pink. Uh, I don't know if this should be glossy or not. It could have been my fault. It didn't come out too glossy here. But uh, it did come out good, and it matches perfect. Uh, it's a great color. I love this color. But um, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. If it came out glossy, then I applied it wrong. And uh, either thinned it too much or shot it too, too far away. But anyway, it's still, it still, it looks great. I like, I, I, I like to end up, unless I'm painting a sports car, a dull paint anyway. I like all my Gundams to be matte. But um, this, I can't complain. It's a big jar. You get a lot for your money here. I don't know what these cost, but these are big jars. And um, I think they're like six bucks or something like that, maybe seven. But there's a lot of paint in there. And you can thin it too, so you're really almost doubling that bottle. And uh, the last one in the group, another one which I love, is this Mr. Paint MRP. These are from Slovakia. Um, recently discovered by me, but um, nothing but good things on these things. And boy, I'll tell you, I painted my recent uh, Subaru matching Gundam with Subaru Blue. They actually says Subaru Blue on the bottle, and um, and it matches. Anyway, this copper, I figured I haven't done a copper, a gloss copper, and it it, it just came out great. It it didn't run. It, it look at it, the, you barely can even see flake in it. Yet it's got a sheen to it. Good stuff. Another bottle that's probably five change, but it's a big bottle. You know, I don't even know what I'm getting in this baby. 30 milliliters, which is a, it's a good. That's a good size. That's even bigger than the Tamiya jar, uh, bigger jars. So these, uh, I highly recommend these too. A lot of colors to choose from. Bright, vibrant colors. Uh, aluminum. I'm gonna be testing a few more. I'm more on the the aluminum and the military X type colors. But th this is great. I would paint a car in this, and I would gloss it. It would probably come out like. Uh, like glass it's just a beautiful paint job all of these came out great but that's a pretty wide variety man from a humbral acrylic you know all the way across to the slovakian based uh, lacquers uh, that is a widespread of of uh, test right there and uh they all worked they all came through fine colors i, I give a lot of credit to my my uh mr hobby uh procon Air, airbrush those things just work terrific they clean easy uh again recommended on those too um but there you go 
another test, another few more paints to go. I don't know if I have any more to test. I, I've tested almost all of them, but I'll see. I, I will try a few more. I have SMS brand I haven't tested yet. I might try some of these extreme metals, and um, I might try the aqueous, more of the aqueous line. So I might do another one with a few more. My next video is going to be these turbo dorks. These are color shifting paints, and uh, that's what they're supposed to look like on the packaging. Can you see it? So those are next. I got the spoons ready to go, black spoons, you know. So that's going to be the next one. You got to paint these over black. Spicy meatball, purple leader. So that's coming up next. But as for now, this lineup of all these five different paints, all good. Thumbs up on these. Uh, take your choice. See who has the colors that you like the most. If you're building Gundams, get one that has more colors in that range and stick with the one range. That way you only have to buy one type of thinner, you know, one type of solvent, one type of cleaner, and you just load up on that and then you just go to town. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video and, uh, We'll see you in the next one.